handbags, handbags and more handbags. Women just can't get enough of them. And that is quite literally. The average woman has 15 handbags in her wardrobe, but she can only carry one at a time. The Mini Cooper is the best-selling hatchback in the UK today, and I've been driving this one all day to see what it's actually like. I have to be honest, I absolutely love this car. It is quite low to the ground, so you do feel the bumps in the road, but that's what makes it such an exciting and fun car to drive. I'm actually quite tempted to get one myself. London is a city that attracts over 50 million visitors every year. But what is it about London that makes it so popular? I'm here today to ask the British public what they love and what they hate about their capital city. What do you think attracts people to the area? What is it? Why is it such an amazing tourist attraction? Um, lots to do, lots to see. Um, amazing architecture, it's fantastic. Yes, architecture. Now, is there anything that you don't like about London? What pigeons. would you change? The what? Pigeons. The pigeons? Yeah, I don't like pigeons. <laughs> what, you just, just don't like pigeons? <laughs> no. So tell me, as a visitor, what do you love about London? What, what really attracts you here? Well, I like the street life, which is very civilized and um, calm compared with many of it's the London calm, cities. It's calm, is it? <laughs> we came for the theatre, so we've seen three plays. OK. Spacious property in a place like Henley-on-Thames can come with a pretty hefty price tag, but there are opportunities if you know where to look. Converting an old pub can take a lot of hard work and initial investment, and that puts quite a few people off. But that's great news because it means you can find properties like this on the market for an absolute steal. Plus, these old converted pubs have a lot of character and traditional features, which is exactly what Paul and Jane are looking for in their search. This one in particular on the outside has original garden tables and fixtures and fittings. But let's go and take a look what's inside. The River Thames is home to an abundance of wildlife, but in the last six months, they've actually discovered seahorses living here. Now, scientists believe this is a fantastic sign that the River Thames is becoming cleaner and less polluted, but conservationists see this as yet another sign of global warming. Brian Naylor investigates. That's it for today's show, but do join me next week because I'll be scuba diving in Australia on the Great Barrier Reef. See you then.